Hello everyone. In last video, we studied about some important accounting terms. Let's continue with some more accounting terms. Today we will start with the explanation of term debtors. A debtor is a company or individual who owes money. When a businessman sells goods on credit to his own customers, those customers are called as debtors. Customer becomes debtor of that amount for which goods is sold on credit. Or we can say that debtor is a person, individual or firm who receives a benefit without giving money immediately but liable to pay in future or in due course of time. Debtors are treated as current assets. For example, Mr. Amit bought goods on credit from Mr. Sumit for rupees 20,000. Here, Mr. Amit will be called debtor till he pays the value of the goods. Now, the next term is bills receivable. Bills receivable is a written document. When a business sells goods to a customer, they might also draw up a bill of exchange on the customer. It is a document where there are two parties. One is the bill writer and other is the bill acceptor. By accepting the bill of exchange, the customer or debtor effectively agrees to pay the amount due on a specified date. The purpose of the bill of exchange is to provide proof of debt in the form of a transferable document. Here bill writer acquires right to receive certain amount as per predetermined date in the future. Bill is a bill receivable for the bill writer. Bill receivable is treated as current assets. Now the next term is receivable. A receivable simply indicates right to receive cash in the future or we can say that any amount to be received by businessmen in the future from any person or persons is known as receivable. Receivables are classified into three categories account receivables, notes receivables and other receivables. Where account receivables are balances that customers owe as a result of the sale of goods or services. They are also known as trade receivables. Then a company may also have notes receivables. Notes receivables represent a written promises to receive a specific amount of money at a predetermined future date or on demand. Then other receivables may include income tax refunds, interest receivables, rent receivables, advances to employees or any other possible reason that you have right to receive cash in future. Now the next term is creditor. A person who gives a benefit without receiving money or money's worth immediately but to claim in future is a creditor. Or we can say that in more simple terms that when a trader undertakes credit purchase, a person from whom goods are purchased on credit, that particular person becomes creditor of business. He becomes creditor of the business for that amount for which goods are purchased on credit. Creditors are treated as current liability. For example, Mr. Gaurav purchased goods on credit from Mr. Madan. So here, Mr. Madan is a creditor to Mr. Gaurav till he receives the value of the goods. Now the next term is bills payable. When an individual or an organization makes a credit purchase, the bill drawn by the party selling goods or services is termed as bills payable. Or we can say that bills payable is a written document where there are two parties. 
one is bill writer and other is bill acceptor where bill acceptor accepts responsibility to pay certain amount as per predetermined date in the future it becomes payable in this written bill acceptor accepts written responsibility to pay specified amount on specified date it replaces a creditor bills payable is treated as current liability now next term is payables any amount to be paid by the business person in the future to any person or persons is known as payables creditors and bills payable are included in payables in other payables outstanding salary outstanding wages any expense outstanding pre received incomes are included outstanding means money that has not been paid and is still due to be paid all these payables are current liabilities now the next term is cost in business and accounting cost is the monetary value that a company has spent in order to produce something or here cost denotes the amount of money that a company spends on the creation or production of goods or services or we can say that cost refers to the monetary value of expenditures for raw materials equipment supplies labor products etc it is an amount that is recorded as an expense in bookkeeping record now the next term is voucher voucher is an evidence of a business transaction it is a written document in support of a transaction which type of transaction has taken place is determined on the basis of voucher a voucher will contain detailed information regarding the pay the monetary amount of the payment a description of the transaction etc after deciding the type of transaction on the basis of voucher transactions are recorded in the books according to the rules of accounts actually identification of the transaction on the basis of voucher is the first step in preparation of accounts voucher is necessary to audit the accounts here are the examples of different types of voucher you must have seen some of them like it may be in the form of cash receipt invoice cash memo bank pay slip credit memo check etc now the next term is discount in a business many times the invoice is prepared at price lower than the printed price so that the purchasing trader makes a profit even if he sells at the printed price moreover payment made is even less than the invoice price this difference in the amount is known as discount business owners often provide discounts to attract customers and increase sales sometimes they receive discounts themselves from suppliers and manufacturers in this regard two terms are used discount allowed and discount received let us understand the difference between the terms discount allowed and discount received when your company sells goods to any individual or other business and provides a reduction in price and receives less amount the amount which is not received is called as discount allowed this is an expense of business and when a businessman purchases goods and pays less amount then in this case the amount which is not paid is called as discount received this is income of business discount is of two types trade discount and cash discount first let us understand the meaning of trade discount goods are sold in the open market at the same price as printed on the goods by the manufacturer 
The printed price is known as the catalog price. Retailers sell the goods at the printed price. In order that they earn a particular profit, manufacturers or wholesalers give them discount at some percentage on the printed price, which is known as trade discount. This trade discount is neither an expense for the manufacturer nor the wholesaler nor an income for the retailer. Therefore, trade discount is not recorded anywhere in the books of account. While preparing the bill of the goods, trade discount is deducted from the catalog price and the net price of the bill is recorded in the books of the buyer and the seller. Now let us understand the meaning of cash discount. A cash discount is a deduction allowed by some sellers of goods or by some providers of services in order to motivate customers to pay within a specified time. Due to cash discount, the customer is attracted to pay cash for credit sales within the stipulated period or before that. Cash discount is recorded in the books of accounts. So that's all for today. Thank you.